guys, Ace Trent Liam here. Hope you're having a lovely day. Welcome back to another episode of Metromania. You know Metromania, it's that series where all those Pokemon do the metronome things until they knock the other Pokemon out and then they move on in the tournament to the point where they get to the end of the tournament and maybe they're going to be the champion, but we just don't know yet, do we? If you're already a fan of Metromania, you've watched all the series so far and you're ready for more, make sure you're banging that like button. Of course, let's go for a thousand likes if we can. Just a thousand. It's not even that many compared to how many of you watch the video. Just bang the bang, bang, bang. Bang the like button! Oh yeah, subscribe as well and like share with a friend and all that too. Maybe leave a comment, you know, just what you think of the action. And of course, don't forget to use code ACE to save yourself some money on G Fuel. Now today, the 30th of July until the 3rd of August 2020, you can get 30% off with code ACE. 30%! Go do it! Code ACE is the way. Today I am drinking sour blue chug rug and oh, it's sour, but oh, it's really sweet as well. Code Ace, 30% off right now. Go do it. We're one week away from the final, and this season has absolutely blown my expectations out of the water. It's been incredible. It's had action. It's had drama. It's been really, really fun. we got one more week to go this week until we get to the finals next week. Before we get into any action, though, let's have a look at the brackets. Last week in Metromania, in the first of our semi-finals, Mandibuzz and Braviary defeated the ghostly ghouls of Kofagrigus and Rune Regus. And I'm just as surprised as you are. I thought Kofagrigus and Rune Regus were going to go all the way, but our first finalists are Braviary and Mandibuzz. And this week, we're going to find out their grand final opponents as Persian and Berserker take on Escavalier and Excelgor. So here we go. The finals are one week away. It is semi-final two of Metromania Season 8. It's Persian and Berserker versus Escavalier and Excelgore. Everybody's on the field ready to go. Here comes Excelgore. What's it going to do here to start off this semi-final match? Goes for Scold. Maybe hoping to get a burn on one of the opponents onto Berserker there for a great amount of damage. With the burn, great start for Excelgore and Escavalier there. Berserker already nullified. Not nullified, but I guess neutered a little bit. Here's a stab mega kick though from Persian onto Escavalier. Not going to be very effective, but a decent chunk of damage for a not very effective hit there. And now it's Berserker's turn to go with the Thunder Punch. Going to be reduced in power because of that burn. But it does a decent chunk of damage nonetheless to Excelgore. And now it's Escavalier's opportunity to make a strike. Goes for Magic Powder. Going to change Persian to a Psychic type. That's, that's an interesting play right there. So Persian is now a Psychic type going forward. And there's the burn damage on Berserker. Each of these teams are quite evenly matched in that they have a Steel type that's got quite a lot of bulk behind it. And then they also have a weaker team member who's a bit more fragile, but quite a bit faster. So here's Excelgore going for Venom Drench. That is going to fail. And then it's over to Persian to try and capitalize on that missed opportunity there. Persian is going to go for Terrain Pulse. No Terrain in effect, so it's going to be a normal type move. That's going to be on the Escavalier there for just the tiniest, tiniest little bit of chip damage. If you blinked, you may have missed that damage. Here comes Berserker, though, who's going to go for Psy Strike onto which Pokemon here? It's going to be on Excelgor there for a great chunk of damage. Excelgor is suffering right now. Escavalier, though, now has a chance to fire back. What's it going to go for? It's going to go for Tail Whip onto both... Uh, well, it's going to reduce both the uh, defense stats of Persian and Berserker by one stage apiece. So both of them are at minus one defense there. Berserker still suffering the effect of that burn. This could really go either way. This is a pretty even matchup as far as Metromania goes. This is this is fairly even here. What's Excelgor going to do? Is it going to go on the offensive? It's going to go for Brave Bird. You could say that's quite the offensive move right there. Onto which Pokemon though? Onto Persian. So it is going to be huge neutral damage there to Persian. A little bit of recoil damage as well to Excelgor. Persian and Excelgor kind of in similar positions right now. Persian's going to go for Happy Hour. A little bit overconfident. Uh, you're in the semi-finals, but you haven't won a round yet. So, uh, you know, take it easy, my dude. Here's Berserker, though. What will it do in response? Going to go for Thunder Punch again. Really enjoying these Thunder Punches on Excelgor once again. Decent hit as well. Excelgor in the danger zone. Escavalier, though, needs to do something here. Going to go for Baton Pass. That's going to fail. That's unfortunate. There's the burn damage to Berserker. Oh, good lord, these teams are kind of steamrolling each other a little bit. Aside from a Scavalier who's just sitting pretty at the moment, not worrying too much. Quite a lot of HP going on. Here's Excelgore with Seismic Toss. Guaranteed 50 hit points of damage here because all these Pokemon, uh, you know, you know the way it works. They're reduced to level 50. Persian in the danger zone now as well. Needs to do something here. This could be its last opportunity to attack. It goes for Gust, which would be super effective if it was on Excelgore, but unfortunately it's on a Scavalier, so it's just a bit of neutral damage. Probably could have taken care 
pair of Excelgore there. Here's a Power Whip, though, which will be resisted by both these Pokemon, uh, whichever it hits. It's on Excelgore. It is resisted, but it is enough to take down Excelgore, even with the burn there. So, Berserker definitely picked the right opponent there. It wouldn't have been particularly useful to use that on uh, Escavalier. Who's going to go for Magnetic Flux? That is going to fail. Berserker's going to take more burn damage. I mean, don't count Escavalier out just yet, because it's still got a lot of HP left. It's certainly in a very good position. Berserker, of course, is on a timer, and uh, Persian is sitting in the danger zone. What will Persian do here? It's going to go for Toxic. That doesn't affect the Steel type of Scavalier. Very unfortunate there. Now it's over to Berserker to try and follow up. It's going to go for Heavy Slam, which is going to be resisted by a Scavalier, so it's not going to do too much damage there. But just a little bit of chip damage, just a little bit. What's the Scavalier going to do as a follow-up there in response? It's going to retaliate with Purify. That is going to fail. Berserker taking even more damage. This Scavalier is just effectively stalling away this Berserker whilst just resisting as much as these two Pokemon can throw at it. Persian is going to get ready, though, on the next turn with its Metronome, and it's going to go for Sky Attack. So it's going to cloak itself in a harsh light and then attack on the next turn. So we'll see how much damage that does when the next turn comes round. Over to Berserker, though. What's Berserker got on its mind? It's going to go for Water Pledge. Try and get a little bit of damage on this Escavalier here. Escavalier tanking it, absolutely. Over to Escavalier now. See if it can do something in response. Going to go for Volt Tackle. Onto which Pokemon here? It's going to be on Persian. And that's enough to take Persian down. Critical hit. So Persian has fainted, no sky attack next turn. It's down to the two steel types, as we probably expected here. Berserker, though, still suffering the effects of that burn, slowly but surely whittling away its HP. And Escavalier is still on point. Escavalier is still ready and raring to go. Here comes Berserker, though. It has an opportunity. It goes for Fairy Wind. That is going to be resisted. That's not what you wanted to do with that opportunity there. Escavalier now in uh, down to less than half its max HP. What's it got in store for Berserker? Going to go for Foul Play using Berserker's attack stat against it. It's huge damage and it takes down Berserker. So the first fall goes to Excelgore and Escavalier. Wow. Okay, this really could go either way. Persian and Berserker, though, do have their backs against the wall right now. They need to even this out if they want to stay in this, if they don't want to be fighting for pride in a third round after two knockouts. So they really need to put the work in. This is for a spot in the final. Here's a round from Excelgore onto Persian, who isn't going to resist that. They're just going to take a big old hit. Because, of course, the Scavalier, not Scavalier, Excelgore is good with that special attack. Persian going to go for Sludge Wave. Doesn't affect Berserker, doesn't affect the Scavalier, but will affect the uh, Excelgore there. So, Excelgore, is it going to get poisoned by that Sludge Wave, though? It's very important. No, it's not going to get poisoned. Lucky for a Scavalier there, uh, Scavalier, Excelgore. Here's a Headbutt from Berserker onto the Excelgore there for a great chunk of damage as well. Here comes the Scavalier, though, looking ready to fire back with a Milk Drink. And it's HP's full, so that's a waste of a turn. Not not a great play there by uh, good old Escavalier. What's going to happen next? I have absolutely no idea. Here's Excelgore, though. What are you going to do, Excelgore? What's on your mind? You're going to go for Raw, but you can't switch someone out of this battle because each team only has two Pokemon. So a wasted turn right there. Persian's going to go for a Shadow Punch, though. Onto which of the Pokemon? Onto a Scavalier there. First damage for a Scavalier in this round. And now Berserker is getting ready to follow up, and Berserker is going to go for Worry Seed. Onto which Pokemon? Onto the Excelgore there. So it's going to swap out Hydration. So in the event that Rain comes into effect, uh, uh, Excelgore won't be able to remove any status conditions like it normally would with Hydration. It now can't fall asleep. So eh, it swings and roundabouts. Here's a Spirit Shackle. Doesn't affect Persian from a Scavalier there. Persian, of course, normal type, so won't be affected by the Ghost type Spirit Shackle there. So a very bad turn for Excelgore and uh, a Scavalier there. Although next turn is in play. Psychic Terrain from Excelgore. Very interesting play right there, especially when it took damage from a Psy Strike in the last round. You don't really want to be powering up Psychic type moves, but sure, you go for it, my dude. You do what you feel is necessary. The battlefield is now weird. Over to Persian. See if Persian can capitalize on that. Persian's going to go for Mega Horn onto which of its opponents here? Onto the Excelgore. Huge damage. Excelgore goes down. It's just a Scavalier versus both Persian and Berserker. This is reminiscent of the previous battle. Although a Scavalier did come out on top in that battle. Here's a Dark Pulse from Berserker onto a Scavalier there. How much damage will it do? Berserker's not much of a special attacker, so not a great deal at all there. Now it's a Scavalier's opportunity. What's it going to do? Going to go for Hypnosis. It's avoided by Persian, so no sleep for Persian. What will happen next? This really, this is, 
Such a strange contest. These are two very unusual, unorthodox teams here. Persian's going to go for Eruption. Oh my word, that's going to do a lot of damage to the four times weak to fire Escavalier. Escavalier is down. They've evened up. Persian and Berserker won a piece against Escavalier and Excelgor. My word, just like that. Switching the tides. My word, that was incredible. How the turntable to you know that meme. It's a rubbish meme, really. Not a big fan of it. Why did I use it? Here's Surf though from Excelgor to start off the battle. That will hit its partner though. But how much damage is it gonna do to its opponents? Does a decent chunk of damage to Excavalier, even more damage to Berserker, and a little bit more damage to Persian as well. Facade from Persian though, uh, no uh, it's not gonna do a lot of damage because it's not very effective on a Scavalier. I was gonna say no status condition. So the facade was not powered up. Here's Berserker, though, who's going to go for coaching, which is going to raise the attack and the defense of Persian by one stage, helping out its partner there, who arguably is the more fragile of the two. So raising its defense is a great move, and raising its attack is just pays dividends as well. Here's a Scavalier, though, going for grudge, wanting its opponent to bear a grudge, maybe worrying that it's going to get knocked out in a single, you know, in pretty, not a single hit, but very, very soon. It's in a... It's in a dangerous area in terms of taking fire type moves, I guess, is a Scavalier with uh, basically three quarters of its HP left. Here's the Excelgor, who's going to go for Spikes, which is a wasted turn. Spikes have no influence on the battles in... Uh Metromania, so Spikes is an unfortunate mistake there. Persian is ready and raring to go, though. It's going to go for Echoed Voice onto which Pokemon here? If it's on a Scavalier, nope, it's on Excelgor, so it is going to do the full amount of damage it would do. Not a great deal, though. And here comes Berserker with the follow-up. What's on its mind? going to go for Shadow Bone onto which Pokemon here? Onto the Escavalier. So Escavalier takes it pretty well, but it's a decent chunk of damage. Less than half max HP left on Escavalier, who's going to fire back with an Avalanche, which will be powered up because it was attacked this turn. Onto Berserker, who does resist it, but put, it goes down to less than half its max HP. So turnabout is fair play, I suppose. Really, even at this point, we're going to find out our finalists in this battle. We're going to find out our remaining final team. Misty Explosion though from Excelgor. Not going to be very effective on a Scavalier, so worth the chance possibly. Huge damage to uh, Persian. A little bit of damage to Berserker. Not enough to take Persian down though. The attack stat of um, uh, uh, Excelgor just not strong enough. Once again we're down to a Scavalier and two opponents here. What's Persian going to do in response? Going to go for Payback onto the Escavalier there. How much damage is that going to do? It does a fair chunk, puts Escavalier in the danger zone. Not a great deal, but just enough to put it in that danger zone. Here's Berserker with an ally switch. How's that going to uh, How's that going to affect the battle going forward? I guess we'll find out. So they swap places, Berserker and Persian, over to Escavalier. Let's see who it was intending to attack. It was going for Present, and it would have been on Persian, but it hits Berserker for some not very effective. So that was that was a fantastic ally switch right there by Persian and Berserker. Although we don't know what, we don't know how powerful that present would have been on Persian, really, realistically. It was probably the weakest version of present. Here we see Magic Coat from Persian, gonna protect itself that little bit with the uh, with the Magic Coat there. Then it's over to Berserker for the follow-up. Has it got something on its mind? Is it gonna go on the offensive? It's gonna go for last resort. That is gonna fail. That gives an opportunity to a Scavalier right now. And what's a Scavalier gonna do with that opportunity? Gonna go for Ice Beam onto which of its opponents there? It's going to be on the Berserker there. Not a great deal of damage, but does put Berserker in the danger zone. Doesn't get the freeze, though, that it probably was hoping for. So now Persian and Berserker have another opportunity apiece to attack this Escavalier. Persian goes for Bolt Beak, which is going to be powered up because it's moving first onto Escavalier there. And it's enough. Our second finalists are Persian and Berserker. They move on to the grand final to take on Braviary and Mandibuzz. Let's take one last look at the brackets before we go to the final. Final next week. Tune in next week on Metromania as Braviary and Mandibuzz will be taking on Persian and Berserker to find our Season 8 Metromania champions. So that'll do it for another episode of Metromania. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button. If you're new, hit the subscribe button. If you'd like to support the channel like the beautiful people down there, do pledge to my Patreon. It's patreon.com forward slash AceTrinaliam. And save money on G Fuel. Use code ACE. It's 30% off right now. But until next time, I'm Ace Trinaliam. Keep on training.